Hi everyone. In the previous lecture, we have started the signal generators concept and we have seen uh, what is the basic meaning of signal generator, what is the purpose of signal generator and we have also seen standard signal generator. In this video, we will learn sine and square wave generator followed by function generator. For the generation of sine wave, we no need to worry. Any type of oscillator will generate a sine wave. Okay, wind bridge oscillator or RC phase shift oscillator. Such type of oscillators can generate by default a sine wave. So this is the block diagram. How a sine wave and square wave can be generated using the wind bridge oscillator. See the first block, first block specifies wien bridge oscillator, wien bridge oscillator. So it generates a basic waveform, nothing but a sinusoidal signal. It generates a waveform that is sinusoidal signal. The output of this wien bridge oscillator is operated with a function switch where the function switch can select either sine wave generating circuit or it can select a square wave generating circuit. See, this is the line for sine wave. This is the circuit or block diagram for sine wave and this is the block diagram meant for square wave generation. Now, if the function switch selects the sine wave circuit, then first and foremost thing is an amplitude selector. Amplitude selector. Here the amplitude of uh, nothing but a potentiometer is arranged to select the amplitude of this incoming signal. And the output of his, this signal is given to sine wave amplifier sine wave amplifier any signal generator these two blocks are very very necessary what are the amplifier and attenuator any signal generator amplifier is to amplify the signal to a maximum level attenuator is used to uh, select the required amplitude level based on our experiment okay so sine wave amplifier will amplify the signal to a maximum level and followed by attenuator attenuator is having a front panel knob where we are selecting the required particular amplitude level or voltage level Okay, the output is a sine waveform. And if the function switch selects the second section, that is a square wave generation, the first block is square wave shaper. The first block is a square wave shaper. What do you mean by square wave shaper? That means what it this block will do? It this block will convert the sine to square waveform. Sine waveform to square waveform can be obtained from this square wave shaper. Can anybody guess what is the internal circuitry we are using for this purpose? We can use either a comparator circuit, comparator circuit, or we can also use a Smith trigger. We can also use a Smith trigger. What is the purpose of Smith trigger? Any type of input waveform can be converted into a square waveform. Okay, or it may be a comparator also. The output of this one is given to amplifier square waveform which is amplified the incoming signal and later attenuator. The output is nothing but square wave output. Okay. Uh, for this sine and square wave generator we have front, front panel controllers of this one. So what are the different front panel controllers? First one is a frequency selector. Here the frequency is selected in a ratio of 1 is to 11. 1 is to 11. Completely the scale is non-linear here. Different continuous signals can be generally selected by using this frequency selector. Another front panel is a frequency multiplier. It selects the frequency in 5 decades. Frequency in 5 decades from 10 hedges to 1 mega H. Different ranges can be selected. 10 hedges to 1 mega H. Amplitude multiplier. Amplitude multiplier. It attenuates the sine wave in three decades into one, into 0 0.1, and into 0 0.01. Amplitude can be selected in different uh, uh, levels like a 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and 1. Variable amplitude. So it attenuates the sine wave amplitude continuously. So we are having different amplitude levels. And symmetry control the symmetricity of a square wave. Square wave form must have symmetricity. If symmetricity is 50%, that is exact square wave that can vary from 30 to 70. Okay. And amplitude. The variable amplitude belongs to sine wave, and this amplitude belongs to square wave, which continuously varies the amplitude because it is having two types of signal generators. One is sine wave and other one is square wave. Function switch. I already told you function switch it selects either sine wave or square wave <coughs> output variable this provides a sine wave or square wave output and sync 
this terminal is used to provide synchronization of internal signal with an external signal whenever we are whenever we are connecting the external supply external supply suppose i want to give oscillator like this not uh, by the uh, default oscillator then external signal can be synchronized with the incoming signal in internal signals and another uh, front panel main switch is on off switch power on and off switch okay so next we will see the function generator function generator you may know what is a function generator and what is the purpose of function generator most commonly we always each and every engineering graduate uses this function generator because every laboratory whenever we are operating a particular circuit the signal is coming from the function generator itself you can easily guess what are the different signals that uh, that a function generator generates what are the different signals by default there are three different types of signals uh, sine wave square wave and a triangular wave these are the three different signals that a function generator can generate it uh, function generator in which we are using in the laboratory that can also generate a pulse waveform but a pulse waveform here we are not uh, going to the we are not going through the function gen uh, pulse waveform in this block diagram of function generator okay we will focus on only sine wave square wave and pulse generator once the square waveform is generated it is not uh, no way matter to generate a pulse waveform because we have a separate block diagram for a uh, square and pulse generator okay that's why in the function generator you look for only sine square and triangular waveform so a function generator what i said here is usually a piece of electronic test equipment of a software used to generate different types of electrical waveforms over a wide range of frequencies some of the most common waveforms produced by the function generator what i said here sine waveform sine waveform square and a triangular waveform so these are the examples of waveforms how the waveforms are going to be generated sine waveform square waveform and triangular waveform coming to the block diagram of function generator see this uh, function generator is very 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 important ex from examination point of view okay function generator is very very important if you understand the operation how the signals are going to be generated you can easily write the theory theory is nowhere important once the block diagram is very particular in your mind then easily you can write the theory okay see i will tell very clearly understand external frequency control external frequency control here the frequency of this entire function generator that can be controlled by the internal or external okay so external frequency control whenever you power on this function generator this external frequency control will also on and gives the frequency to this function frequency control network frequency control network it selects the range what is the amount of entire frequency range that the signal should have that frequency range can be selected by using frequency control network okay so that frequency control we are selecting here is the only part where we are having the frequency control okay nowhere we are having the frequency okay all the three signals are having same frequency whether it is a square waveform or a triangular waveform or a sine waveform these three signals must have same frequency which is commonly selected at the starting only okay now the output of this frequency controlled network is given to upper constant current source and the second one is a lower constant current source lower constant current source there are two current sources one is upper constant current source and lower constant current source depending upon their positions actually they those two are constant current sources only depending on their positions one is in the top another one is in the bottom so as one is in the top it is given as upper constant current source another one is in the lower so it is a lower constant current source assume that a condition assume a condition upper constant current source is in on lower constant current source is in off who will select the on and off the output of the comparator the output of the comparator assume the output of the comparator is a high output of the comparator is high nothing but high means let it be in the digital form it is a logic one 
okay why i am saying digital it is not a digital signal why i am saying digital digital means we can easily understand one and zero one means on zero means off okay so when it is in the on state nothing but one this one is given to upper constant current source internally <coughs> the same signal can is also be connected to lower constant current source so upper constant current source comes into on and for the same one logic high the lower constant current source comes to off okay so what happens when this upper constant current source is in on state it produces continuously a constant current to this integrator to this integrator upper constant current source is to produce the current and lower constant current source is to draw the current is to get the current is to draw the current it takes the current and lower upper constant current source is giving the current it gives the current okay so whenever the upper constant current source is on a constant current like i a constant current is continuously supplying to this integrator we know the purpose of integrator okay it charges the capacitor so the capacitor which is connected here in the feedback that capacitor charges so what is the path the capacitor charging path from here to here see slowly the capacitor charges with a current i <coughs> we know capacitor does not allow any sudden changes in voltage that's why it slowly charges slowly charges up to what point it has to charge <laughs> up to which point it has to charge that will be told by voltage comparator here what is the purpose of comparator it's a multi vibrator multi mv is nothing but multi vibrator comparator is nothing but it compares the two incoming signals one incoming signal is a reference signal which is having inside the voltage comparator and the another incoming signal is that is the output of integrator the output of this integrator or we can also say the output of this capacitor okay capacitor charges and when it reaches when it reaches the level or an amplitude that is equal to the reference voltage comparator means like this it is having two signals okay one is the capacitor output in our case another one is the reference signal <coughs> another one is the reference signal. reference signal is an internal signal we are not giving any reference signal here reference signal is set by the internal comparator only okay whenever the capacitor suppose let it be 5 volts whenever the capacitor reaches a maximum of 5 volts it slowly charges it reaches a 5 volts somewhere definitely it reaches the 5 volts when it reaches the 5 volts so both the voltages are equals then the output goes to zero until then it is one when it reaches both the voltages are equal then one turns to zero that means this signal will convert back to zero it is as it is not zero i am saying it is a low level square wave form it is having previously a, an upper level and when it reaches the capacitor voltage is equal to the reference voltage it reaches the lower level when the output of this comparator reaches the lower level this lower level will make the upper constant current source to off and the lower constant current source to on now incoming current i stops and this current whatever the current that has been charged by the capacitor now that will discharge through this lower constant current source so that's why the symbol minus i <coughs> plus i is nothing but charging minus i is nothing but discharging slowly slowly the capacitor voltage discharges until a specific voltage nothing but let it be zero volts immediately that takes the turn of the capacitor comparator output again from low to high what happens when the output again from uh, reaches from low to high upper constant current source switches on and lower constant current source switches off this process will be repeated like this okay what is the output of capacitor now what is the voltage across capacitor now can you agree is it a triangular waveform okay if you see this particular waveform you cannot agree it is a exact triangular waveform but if you adjust the comparator voltage reference voltage then definitely the charging and discharging periods will be equal then it will be a exact triangular waveform okay so the output of this capacitor is directly integrator is directly a triangular waveform already we know if we give a square waveform at the input of a integrator then the output of integrator is a triangular waveform 
degrader is a triangular waveform <coughs> okay so that means one of the three outputs like a square waveform triangular waveform sine waveform triangular waveform we have got in, in the starting starting only and another one is comparator 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 output is always a square waveform either logic high or logic low okay see based on these changes only the capacitor charging and discharging depends so the output is a square waveform that will be amplified through this amplifier and it is nothing but a square waveform we have got the second waveform also now this triangular waveform if you add some resistance and diodes then simply slowly this uh, triangular waveform will be converted into a smoothening signal nothing but a sine wave so that's why resistance diode shaping network resistance diode shaping network will convert the shape of the triangular waveform into a sine wave okay and it is the amplifier too which is used to amplify this signal the output is a sine wave so in this way three basic signals like a square waveform sine waveform and triangular waveform can be generated by using a function generator okay very very simple very very simple just i repeat upper constant current source when it is in on capacitor charges capacitor reaches a predetermined level by the comparator when it reaches comparator again changes its state from 1 to 0 when the output goes to 0 that makes the upper constant current source off and lower constant current source on when lower constant current source is in on state capacitor discharges so this process will be repeated for n number of times so that sine wave square wave and triangular wave will be generated clear thank you